what's up everybody um today i'm going to be making a quick video on how to uh do a valve cover gasket including the coil pack o-rings on a k20 k24 this applies to basically any car that came with a k or a car that has a k swap so this for instance is a 93 eg with a jdm k24 uh, if you look over here, uh, there's some oil, mainly on the back by the VTEC solenoid. Uh, they do tend to leak there, especially because the engine sits on the angle. Um, this is a very easy, very easy job. Um, it's a little bit harder here because of the strut tower. You could take off the strut tower, but um, basically all you're going to need is a new valve cover gasket. You're going to need uh, the coil pack rings and you're going to need these grommets right here. Uh, those are the ones that go here. As you can see, these are pretty old, probably original. Um, for tools, you're going to need a 10 millimeter deep socket. That will basically get your whole job done. Um, <clears throat> once you do have this open, you can also uh, remove the coil packs, which you have to remove anyways. Remove a spark plug if you want to, inspect it, make sure it's good. All right, once you get all the bolts off, remove all the grommets. You can just use a flathead. Um, you can just rip the valve cover off, but some of the grommets might fall down into the valve train. So I just take them off. You can have the cap off or on. So this is a very good time to inspect uh, the head. Make sure there's no scoring on the camshafts. Also come over here. Take a look at the timing chain, the timing guides. Uh, they are plastic and they do like to break. So inspect everything while you're here. Um, take the valve cover. You gotta get all these grommets out. Put the new ones in. Put them back exactly like this. Don't put them upside down. Um, wipe everything off. Take this old valve cover. Uh, gasket off <clears throat> and um, what I like to do here you can see now you can see all the oil um, I believe it was coming from the from the valve cover gasket what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of RTV here and here <clears throat> and um, if you come on this side there's supposed to be RTV here. You can see a little bit of old RTV and also on that corner as well. Put RTV there. If you have Honda Bond, use Honda Bond. If you don't, you can use something else like this. This does take a little bit longer to harden, <clears throat> unlike Honda Bond. So just, you know, wait about two hours before you fire up the car. All right, so real quick, um, when you are removing these um, so this one I already removed um, so basically I just take some uh, pliers I'll put one end under grab it on the top and just pivot it against and it will come right out um, when you do put the new one in just put it down with your hand and then you can use an old one to put it on top and then you could just press press down on the the old one like that to uh, insert it in if you want to you can put it on and just tap it a little bit with a hammer do all of them like that put the new gasket on don't forget to uh, put a little bit of silicone clean everything up put all the bolts back on put the coil packs back on plug everything back in and you are ready to go